Well, I'd like to say how much I'm uh, uh, grateful to be here tonight as a candidate to the United States Senate. Uh, what Senator Allen just said about taxes isn't true. We can get into that later. It's only one person up here who's ever raised taxes, and that's George Allen. I would like to say that we need to think about what he just said. These are uh, different times in America for different people. How you're doing depends in many cases on where you're sitting. Two-thirds of the people in this country worry that it's headed in the wrong direction, and yet we re-elect 91% of our incumbent politicians. The stock market is at an all-time high. Corporate profits are at the highest percentage of our national wealth in history, and yet nearly 10% of the companies on the Fortune 500 list don't pay any taxes at all. And worse, if you look at wages and salaries for our workers as a percentage of our national wealth, they're at an all-time low having gone down in real terms for four years in a row. The leaders of this administration and their followers claim that we are in a life and death struggle against international terrorism and that the war in Iraq is the central front of this war on terrorism. And yet, very few of these leaders are willing to invest their own loved ones in this effort. We have the best hospitals in the most advanced medical care in the world, and yet 47 million Americans, and that's 15% of this population, are without health insurance. And for the rest of us, medical care costs have gone up 73% in the last six years, 36% out of our own pockets, threatening to bust family budgets. America needs leaders who understand these divisions and want to repair them leaders whose views on foreign policy are formed by experience rather than sound bites, leaders who measure the health of our society by what's good, not at the top 1%, but with our working men and women. Thank you. Thank you.